Good morning and welcome to the TCRBCC Let's Talk Business podcast. It's Monday, November 3rd. It's not Monday, it's Friday, November 3rd. So we hope you've had a good weekend. If it's not been such a good week, I should say, we hope you have a good weekend and uh, make it up. Uh, we'd like to thank our president and chairman club supporters, Amico Federal Credit Union, for their support in helping us maintain this live broadcast for you every Friday. Um, each podcast, I'd like to start off with the Tri-County mission statement. So TCRBCC is committed to acquiring and disseminating valuable business information, resources, and tools for member firms to achieve entrepreneurial parity and economic prosperity in the region and international. So every year, Tri-County hosts the Business Choice Awards where we honor business owners and individuals known throughout our communities for their authenticity and passions that illuminates a path so others may capture a vision that inspires them to accomplish their dreams. And so over the next three weeks, we're, we're going to dedicate this podcast series to honoring and getting to know our 2023 Business of Choice Award honorees who actually helped support that mission statement. So there are about 36 honorees over 13 categories. So we're honored to be able to memorialize your shining light and have the opportunity to recognize you and your achievements, contributions and whatnot to our community. So I have a few honorees on this morning and I want to go one by one and have them introduce themselves. Um, Maya, would you like to go first? Sure. Thank you for having me here today. My name is Maya Ingram. I'm the owner consultant of One Ingram Group. However, most everyone will remember me as the manager of the statewide hub program at the comptroller's office. I have recently retired from the state and decided it was time to focus on the small businesses on my own. Awesome, thank you. And uh, Tanya, would you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Absolutely. My name is Tanya McGilbra. I was formerly a business advisor with the Minority Business Development Agency, and now I've transitioned over to a senior business diverse inclusion advisor with Oxy. It's a new initiative. We haven't gone live yet, but I'm excited about the opportunity uh, to continue to help business entrepreneurs excel scale and live their dreams. Awesome. And I'm sure we'll learn more about that in the future once you go live and good luck. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Dinita, would you introduce yourself and tell us what it is that you do? Sure. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me uh, today. My name is Dinita Caldwell. Um, I'm the executive director of the Austin Independent School District's HUB program. HUB stands for Historically Underutilized Business, um, essentially supplier diversity, as many of your viewers <coughs> may recognize that term. Awesome, thank you. And Tamisha, would you introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Hi, I'm Tamisha Hendricks, and I am the owner of TND Business Solutions along with TND Tax Services. I am a CPA accounting. Um, I help businesses stay in line accordingly to make sure that they'll run, be able to run on a daily day basis. Awesome, thank you. And uh, Monica, morning. introduce yourself. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for having us, having me here. Um, I'm the director uh, for the Business Opportunity Office here at Lone Star College. I have been working with businesses and entrepreneurs for five years here in Houston. Previously, I used to live in Ecuador, so I moved five years ago, and since then, I had this new mission um, of helping in the business community. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I don't know much about you, but I didn't know any of that. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, you've been so welcome here. Welcome. Hope you're making it home. Um, oh, yes. I'd like to let everyone know that we are expecting some other guests. So I may be introducing some other members, uh, but we're, we're going to keep the same format. They'll yeah. introduce themselves and then we'll get to know them as well as uh, continuing to get to know all the other honorees here. And so, um, Ms. Dinita Caldwell, you were nominated as an outstanding business advocate. I'd like to know how you felt when you received news you were going to receive this award. You know, um, I do this work. Um, I'm passionate about the work that I do. And I pour everything that I have into 
advocating on behalf of small minority businesses. And when I got the word, um, I, it literally brought me to tears, um, especially um, coming from the Tri-County Regional uh, Black Chamber and the relationship that I have with the chamber, as well as uh, with um, your chamber leader, uh, Miss Leandria. Um, I was um, honored. Um, I never look for any sort of accolades for what I do. Um, I think this is um, something that I'm expected to do, part of my purpose and my journey here. Um, and so just to have someone acknowledge and recognize the effort, um, you know, the time that I have put in and invested um, over the years felt really good. So you can confidently say that receiving that award does reflect all the hard work you put in. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. So Ms. Maya, how did you feel when you received the news that you were being honored? Uh, again, my respect for Leandria is, is immense. I've known her for a long time. I've worked with the program for over 23 years. So I've worked with her for a very long time. Um, extremely honored. Um, I can't take all of the credit. Um, I work with all of the hub coordinators from all of the different state agencies. I knew Dinita when she was a hub coordinator with the state agency. So it, it's a it's a family. Um, the hub coordinators, the hub uh, people work very hard to help the small businesses be successful, to teach them how to do those contracts with the state. It's it's not an easy task, uh, but it's it's um, it's something that I love to do. Again, I'm as Dinita said, I am passionate about it. I I love my small businesses. I want to see them grow, and I just think they're just the heart of the business world in the state and around the country. So yeah, I was honored. It was great. Awesome. I am, I'm so glad to be one to congratulate you all and, you know, give you your little high fives and your virtual flowers. So I'm glad that you were honored. And I also forgot to mention about Ms. Maya Ingram that she was honored as a uh, outstanding business advocate also. Um, so Ms. Monica, how did you feel? To tell you the truth, I had to read the email a few times, <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, oh wow, I was flattered, honored. It was, a, it, it is a great privilege to get to work with uh, organizations like the Tri County Com um, um, Chamber. I love Leandria since the first day I met her, and we had a meeting that lasted like four hours. I enjoyed so much all the initiatives that she does and also um how we can work together um so i feel i feel very honored to be part of this uh, of everything that the chamber does awesome thank you thank you monica so tanisha will you tell me how you felt when you received the news that you were being honored um shocked yeah um, kind of like all the other um wonderful ladies on the on on here um, we do what we do because of who we are. It's not that we're looking to get anything in return. And in, um, to get an email, just like Monica was saying, and I over, I read it a couple of times myself. <laughs> um, be like, wow, okay, I've been you know nominated for board member of the year. Um, I see what Tri County does yearly. And so because I see what they do, I know what they've done for me in regards to my business. I want them to be able to share the love with other people that we bring into the chamber. So to know, you know, even though I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, it was still an honor to know that I'm being watched at the same time of doing something great. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, oftentimes we don't stop to give ourselves a pat on the back. Maybe if we cook a nice dinner sometimes, maybe something mm -hmm. small, but I don't think you guys should be that shocked. I mean, I can see how passionate just through here that you all are about what it is you do and why you do it. And you know that it's not for nothing. You have plans, you've seen the chamber grow. I've seen the chamber grow. I'm not sure if you all know, but Miss Leandria is my grandmother. Mm -hmm. I've seen the chamber. I've been in and out of the chamber, making booklets for uh, award shows in the past. Now we're printing books and we have a magazine. So I've seen how much the chamber has grown and how many wonderful members that have been introduced to the chamber from, mm -hmm. you know, being these outstanding business advocates that work not only, you know, in our county, 
but surrounding counties, Austin County, like you know, counties in Austin, I should say. So yes, I think you all should give yourself a pat on the back daily, <laughs> some, some kind of mantra or something that, that that'll keep you motivated. I think you should be motivated, but speaking of, uh, Danita, what would you say like motivates you? Um, what, what stops you from giving up when you're frustrated? Um, so for me, honestly, it's knowing that, um, you know, when we have the power, you know, from a agency perspective to make awards, we're evaluating, making those decisions. Um, we literally, um, can make a break, whether, um, a family could put food on the table because this is their bread and butter. And so I look at it from that perspective. Um, and so what excites me and keeps me going is uh, the success stories that I'm able to share in and realize. So when you cultivate a business, you know, and have conversations and bring them in and introduce them to cross-functional teams that are also critical in um, their success in terms of doing business with their particular entity, it is so great and such an awesome feeling to see them succeed, to see them get that award um, and then continue to grow their business. So that's what keeps me going. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like the fact that, you know, you, you keep going in just one day, maybe if you sleep, that's a family that may not eat. And that's, that's a big, that's a huge thing. Um, I'm not in the capacity that I have to think of things like that, but I'm like, wow. Hmm. Danina, you keep going. <laughs> Keep on going. <laughs> All right. So, um, Tamisha, what's uh, some advice you would give other entrepreneurs who are listening in or may listen in later? Never give up. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. You know, um, some people may shower as being peaches and cream, but it's not. You're going to go through your hardships just like any other business goes through the hardship. It's just that you don't see what they're going through in order to make their business achieve what it has. So you have to know that you have to give it your all even over 110 percent because it's just you making sure that the daily operation is run accordingly. So just never give up. Keep pushing and know what your drive is, what keeps you going in order to even, you know, achieve what you're trying to achieve. And always remember why you started. Hmm. Always remember why you started. Like that. And I, I want to kind of tie that into when you say, you know, never give up, keep going. I know sometimes as a business owner or a business itself may hit certain roadblocks. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have a chamber of commerce mm -hmm. so that you can, um, you know, get with the board members, the leaders uh, and utilize certain tools that you hadn't had before or utilize certain resources or different business advocates that would help you get certain contracts or help you maybe put put your foot in the right direction if you have um, applied for contracts and maybe have not gotten any action. So thank you for that, Tamisha. And that's what, that's what the chamber is here to help for, to help you not give up, help you overcome some obstacles or even help you figure out what obstacles you are, didn't even know you were having to deal with. So mm -hmm. thank you. And um, Tanya, what, what advice would you give entrepreneurs who are listening in? Um, basically, um, if you have an advocate or if you have an organization such as the Tri-County Regional uh, Chamber of Commerce, stick with them. And um, it's always good to attach yourself to a person who is interested in your growth. And when you come back to them with your progress, they are more inclined to want to assist you. So that's what I would encourage new existing entrepreneurs is, is find that mentor, find that advocate who is willing to walk you through every step of your journey. So, Tri County. Here we go. So, uh, Monica, mm -hmm. tell me um, what stops you from giving up when you're frustrated? Well, uh, I think about my, my, uh, all the obstacles that I have been uh, living my whole life, and I remember each one and see how that took me here. And then it's like, oh, I've been through a lot. So this is just another lesson in life. This is mm -hmm. something that I have to, uh, there's a reason why 
you have you struggle there's a reason when you have problems but it's a learning process for me life is a learning process and i think everything happens for a reason and if you learn something that is going to be a tool later on for your job or your personal connections or everybody that you touch in your life thank you thank you it's almost maya uh what is it that motivates you Oh, what motivates me the most? Um, I just, I, I love the people I work with. I love, um, you know, people like Leandria who are so committed. She's got so much knowledge. She and I can sit and talk and each one of us is teaching us something new. Um, talking to the small businesses, everything that everybody said here today is just so right on. Um, trying to remind the small businesses, sometimes just take a step back, look at what just if, if something didn't go right, take a step back, evaluate why you didn't get an award, uh, and figure out what you need to do to make it correct so that you can keep on going. Um, I love it when they call me back and say, I just got an award. It's a small one, but it's so exciting <laughs> to hear it in their voice. Yeah. Um, it, it, you know, I work with people, strategize with them, make sure that they're setting up their company correctly so that they can set themselves up for success. And that's just kind of what keeps me going. Yeah, um, I, I feel proud too of like maybe my siblings or something. Even my grandmother when she gets she gets an award, I'm just like that is so cute. I love it. Look at her. Because, I mean, ju just the same as you all. I'm sure she's well, she she's a little different, so her excitement is not <laughs> the same as yours. But she works so hard with so hard. each and every one of these members, and that lady uh, she can run circles around me. So. I, I I see how active she is, and I just hope that everyone's congratulating her as much as we all need a pat on the back. I know she needs hers too, but she's doing awesome. So anyhow, I guess I don't need to flat, flatter her here. <laughs> okay, so Ms. Danita, um, do you have a personal personal mission statement? I'm sorry, I had an internet glitch. I didn't hear the question. Okay, okay. I said, do you have a personal mission statement? I do. Um, and this, it kind of changes <laughs> as I grow, right, right? Myself, you know, year by year and as I mature. So uh, my mission statement for the past probably year has been um, choose joy. Um, mm. You know, it's, it's, and I have to remind myself that multiple times throughout the day, <laughs> because while, you know, the work that we do is very rewarding, um, at times it could be very frustrating um, in terms of the conversations that you have to have um, when you are uh, advocating on behalf of the small businesses and, you know, pushing mm -hmm. for them. Um, you know, it takes a lot of energy um, as well as I'm sure, you know, being an entrepreneur, I'm not in that space. But um, so choose joy. I think it's very important. It just shifts the energy in the room. Um, your approach is different when you have joy and, and approach people in that way and just um, be kind. You know, it's it goes a long way. Agreed. Agreed. Kindness does go a long way. Monica, do you have a personal mission statement that you go by? Yes, I think uh, for me, one one of the the most important things that I think is learning every day something. You have to learn every day something. Also, connect connect everything that you are living to accomplish your dreams because mm -hmm. everything, as I said before, I'm. Uh, believer that everything happens for a reason but if you are not alert then you can miss it so mm -hmm. do the, do those connections and then um lastly lastly be grateful every day awesome thank you does anyone else have a mission a personal mission statement uh, that keeps them going that they want to share i have one i have to remind myself daily to evaluate plan learn and hopefully succeed and what was, what was the last part? I'm sorry, Ms. Maya. Succeed. Succeed. So evaluate, plan. Learn. Plan, learn, and learn succeed. Learn and succeed. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. It, no, but there's always that. something to learn, and there's always something to reevaluate on your business and yes. ask and change. Uh, and you want to change that and evaluate that. Uh, learn and and like Monica said, outreach is important. Learn. Um, Tanya said to the the mentors, find a mentor. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It could be somebody in. Uh, just like Miss Leandria, she's a fantastic mentor, but she connects people with the right people that will help them. And so learning and then uh, that all leads to success. Yes, 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 yes. Does anyone else have a mission statement, a personal mission statement? I do. Um, it's kind of personal and business all at the same time. Um, and I live by this daily. So when, um, it's when you start off right, you end up right. So mm -hmm. anytime when you're starting something accordingly, it's going to end up accordingly. You know, yeah. if you if you miss make a mistake, it's going to end up probably being ending in the mistake because you didn't know from the beginning on how to start. So just like what all the other ladies are saying, I can say with Tri-County, if you have that advocate, if you know the right direction to go, if you're constantly listening and not having that closed ear to be willing to learn, you're going to always start off right. You're going to end up right. That's just where it's at. And that's with life and in business. I like that. It's It's clear. It's clear. Uh, you don't have to really interpret much on that one. Start off right, end up right. Uh, and Miss Tanya, did you have anything you wanted to add or any personal mission statement of your own? Well, absolutely. I think it's okay to let people know that it's okay to know that you're worthy. And on a daily basis, sometimes I have to reaffirm, golly, you are worthy. Give yourself a pat on the back occasionally. <laughs> and something that I do have to remind myself to remind other people is, you know, it's important that you let people know what your purpose is. It's very important to have a purpose. And I think as an entrepreneur, you know, in being um, having that entrepreneurial spirit, if you will, encouraging someone or a business entrepreneur that it is important that they let people know that this is their passion. They're not just doing this for a paycheck. Mm -hmm. They're doing it because this is their passion. And I think that's very important. Awesome. Thank you. And I, I completely, completely agree with that. And um, I, if, is there anything else that anyone else would like to add or share with us? Uh, maybe something that I didn't mention <laughs> here. I just wanted to add um, one. I just want to acknowledge Leandria again, um, as everybody has stated, she is fantastic. Um, so is the Tri-County Chamber in general, the staff, everybody, y'all are just amazing. And it is so important, not only for the businesses, but for us as leaders, because you all give us that platform that we need to be successful, you know, um, without chambers, without other industry organizations, you know, to help get the word out about these opportunities that are available you know, um, being able to have that strategy sessions and conversations. Um, there are many times I have reached out to Maya <laughs> just to say, hey, you know, I need your need to pick your brain on a specific, you know, issue. Um, what are your thoughts? How have you handled this? Um, do you know of any other, you know, entities that have dealt with this particular situation? So um, I just want to just acknowledge that, um, you know, having organizations like yours, the Tri-County Chamber is just critical to growing us as leaders as well. Right, right. And um, this is basically like a, a private business club, right? And so just like Danita and, and Maya have that connection to where they can call each other up and get advice, by joining right. the chamber, you'll meet other people also who are in your wheeled house or whatever, because you're part of a social club. So you have mm -hmm. access to so many resources and by showing up to workshops and networking events, you'll find your person or your two people or your person for this and the person for that and something for someone else. And then a person that you didn't know you needed. Who knows? So um, yes, join the chamber. You can join at tricountyregionalblackchamber.org. Um, check the events often. They're often updated. Um, I think the next event we have coming up is November fifteenth. You are um, you sponsor. You're um, you're doing that class, correct, Ms. Maya? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> I am. We did a series, and uh, it just kind of went from the beginning, and the the last part is uh, finishing up towards success. So, yeah. And this is all I, about. I think it's um, important. 
just like you said, the workshops, mm -hmm. um, networking, um, making sure you're talking to the other businesses, just like we do on this level where we all work with the small businesses and get them there and share our information. It's also important for the small businesses to share information with the other small businesses. They might have just picked up a tip or they might have just talked to somebody that, that helped them do this. And then maybe you can go talk to that person and help them with what they need. So uh, it's, right. it's a big family. And I think um, all of us here support the small businesses in our own um, resources and our own knowledge. But the small businesses have a lot of knowledge to provide too. So uh, that outreach and that networking is really important. I think you'd agree. So um, remember these workshops that uh, Ms. Maya Ingram is overseeing and, and teaching, it, giving us information and is a members only club. So even if you're not a member up until 30 minutes before the workshop started, you can always log in, or sorry, visit our Tri-County regionalblackchamber.org website and become a member in, in minutes. So we do encourage you to be a member. I also want to I almost forgot I'm honoring you all about the Business Choice Awards and didn't talk about them really. Uh, Business Choice Awards and Gala this year will be October in December 2nd of this year. Um, early bird purchase was extended through today. So you have until about midnight today to get the early bird pack pricing on packages and tickets. Um, it's not too late all the, also to advertise in the TCR BCC business book. This is a 2024 book um, titled Getting to the Money. So again, early bird specials are extended through tonight at midnight. So don't forget to advertise your business in the business book this year. And we hope to see you all at the Business Choice Awards and Gala Black Tie event. I'll be hosting the red carpet, so we're going to have a lot of fun. I just want to come back and honor our Business Choice Award honorees. We had an outstanding business advocate, Ms. Tanya McGilbra. Thank you for uh, joining us. We had um, an outstanding business advocate, Ms. Danita Caldwell. Thank you. Uh, outstanding business advocate, Ms. Maya Ingram. Thank you. Um, and let's see, with strategic partner, Ms. Monica Campana. And then Tamisha Lowe Hendricks, our board member. So thank you so much, ladies, for joining us. It was nice to get to know you a little bit better. And I will be seeing you soon. Great. See you thank at the you. night of the gala. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Have a wonderful weekend.